in three dimensions. And suppose I have something like this. You have a rod which is fixed at this point, then it's bent and it's fixed again. So for this rod, <coughs> you could take this axis as y, you could take this axis as x, you could take this axis as z, and we can also place some forces, let's say force here, 60 pounds, and you might even have a couple here, let's say a couple as 60 pound feet. And this is fixed at point A, it's also fixed at point B. So it's, it's a very simple problem, you just have a rod which is bent, and <coughs> it's totally fixed at point A, and it's totally fixed at point B. Now if I start looking at the reactions, <coughs> you're going to have at A, there's going to be a reaction force and that's going to be A. In addition to this, there will be a couple, you can call this as MA. Same thing is going to happen at point B. You'll have a reaction which is going to be B and there's going to be a couple which is going to be MB. <coughs> then you look at the actual components. There is component AX, it's a non-zero component, then you have a non-zero component AY, then you have a non-zero component AC. So this force here has component AX, then you have A, Y, J, then you have A, C, K. Now, in addition to this, you'll have a couple, which let's say M, A, X. You're going to have a couple, M, A, Y. Then you have another couple here, that's going to be M, A, Z. I mean, all three of them are unknown at this point. So you have M, A, X, I, you have M, A, Y, J, and you have M, A, Z, and a K. So uh, you end up with a total of six unknowns at point A. Now let's look at point B. Same thing is here. See, <coughs> at this point, there will be a component Bx, there's going to be a component Bc, and there's going to be a component By. So this here is Pxi, Pyj, and Pck. All three of the components being zero. And in addition to this, you will have couple M B X. It's going to be a couple M B Y, and there's going to be a couple M B C. So <coughs> on here, you got M B X I M B Y J. M, B, Z, K. So <coughs> that shows the reactions. I mean, you have the force A and B with three unknown components. Then you have couples M, A, and M, B also with three unknown components. So if you do a count, <coughs> you got three unknowns here, all three are components. You have three unknowns <coughs> here, you have three unknowns here, <coughs> and three unknowns here all adds up to 12. <coughs> but we also know that there are only six equations for equilibrium. And we can add all the forces. That's one, which gives you three equations. Then you can add all the couples. So <coughs> you got 12 unknowns. You have six equations. So 12 minus 6, or 6, this is the extra number of unknowns. I mean, you need six more equations beyond what you have. So, 
the system is also statically indeterminate. Or <coughs> the equations from equilibrium are not sufficient to solve for all the unknowns. That's one. And this number six will, this will be a degree of indeterminacy. Or you need to look for six more equations to solve this problem. So that's the case where you have more unknowns than you have the equations. Now, <coughs> we could have exactly opposite situation too. <coughs> 